keep the body, the intestine in a condition where bacteria can thrive. Uh, bacteria, it's really in many ways, celiac is a bacterial issue, as all digestive health issues are. And then, of course, a good nutritional supplement program is also vital, just the, the Healthy Star Pack and the Mighty 90, um, and the EFAs can be really important. And zinc 50 milligrams, I would throw in some zinc picolinate 50 milligrams a day, a very underappreciated digestive system mineral. Uh, and zinc deficiencies are very common, especially if you're dealing with intestinal problems. So it's, it's real easy to do, Terry. Really, really easy. If, you just, if she just fasts for a couple of days, she's going to feel better. All right, I've got I to move on. I've got a bunch of calls Thank here. You. Thanks for your call, man. Have a beautiful day. Okay, let's go to, do, 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 let's go to Mr. X. Mr. X. I'm going to call you Dr. X because you are a very bright man, Mr. X. Do we have Mr. X? Well, I, you know I love you. I've, I've expressed that many times. You got me on Young and Goody. I thought I was healthy till I got your stuff, so I don't want to go too far in, in praise of you because I've called to dispute something you say. I hate it, but you said it three or four times, okay. and it's the issue of scars Let's not disappearing. disappearing. I have okay. scars from seven years old to 50 years old and, and many in between that yeah. for at least all practical purposes are gone. You can't find them. I put on some... Uh, magnifying how, glasses and found How do you know it was a scar? Tell me how you're defining it as a scar. Okay, well, one of my older ones was uh, was a, a deep gash with a uh, um, with a tin can when I was 14. <clears throat> Had stitches, left them in too long. It would have... It, this was beautiful to me. Again, 14-year-old kid. A big raised scar where you could see the uh, okay. stitches and uh, pinholes for the stitches. Can't Got find it, it anymore. How did you do it? How, what did you do? Are you, do you know what Nothing. you did? Nothing. And, you just went by. And, uh, all right. Here, here's the thing. When, yeah. I, when I was that old, I, I had a, a terrible nutritional deficiency. That scar didn't go away. You're right. It didn't go away when I was unhealthy. When okay. I had lymph nodes all over my body when, uh, when my teeth were rotting out. All those things were happening uh, for various reasons when I was young. Um, uh, how many years did you have, uh, Mr. X, how many years did you have the scar before it went I away? When it disappeared, but I had it all way up, way into adulthood. I, it was I, like years, though. It was a matter of years. Huh? It was a matter oh, of years. Decades. 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 Okay. Okay. And then the scar I went away. Okay. It was a heavy scar. It was a heavy scar. It was raised damn near a quarter inch. But as I began to change my diet, things like that changed. My entire skin changed. People are telling me, wow, your skin's crazy. Uh, huh. They don't realize I had patches that looked like a, 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 a reptile on my forehead. But, okay. Uh, well, that's a, you know that doesn't fall into line with, with what a scar really is. But I'm not going to dispute your experience, and that's good to know. I had never seen that or well, heard that about, before. Yeah, I stopped the pit bull uh, attack about five or six years ago. I did not have to have stitches on any of these, but they were pretty good gashes in my arms. Those, uh, like I said, I can still find them with reading glasses. Stretch marks again. You've said they don't go away. I've, I I went up to 260 pounds. Believe me, I had some stretch marks. Yeah. Again, if you look so close with magnification, you may be able to determine it. Nobody normally would determine that I had any stretch marks. I well, just wanted to say that. I appreciate Nothing. you saying that. I'd never seen that before or heard that before. But if one person can do it, anybody can do it. And, Mr. X, you are a smart guy. So, you know, a whole you know. lot of things. Just like I want to say one thing about the guy with the cancer. Yeah. What he said is very important. You pray, you ask, you listen, yeah. and then you do because you get the answers. The answers will come, but nobody listens. And then when they it. even listen, they do. I love anyway. it. I love it. And, and, and there's communication always occurring. If, if you're listening, there's always communication occurring everywhere, from the body, from your experiences, from your thoughts, from the universe, everywhere. There's ex and listening is the key. You're absolutely right, Mr. X. Hey, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day, buddy. Thanks for your call. And I, uh, and I will take that under advisement. Mr. X says he healed his scars. He reversed his scars. And that is, uh, I never heard that or seen that, but I, I take Mr. X very seriously. So we'll... Uh, We'll put that into the old uh, mental filing cabinet. Thank you, Mr. X. Shane in North Carolina, what's up? How you doing? Hey, I called um, several months ago. I think it was back in the spring, and I, I called in. I was talking about my mother being a prescribed prednisone, and it was a pretty hefty dose. It was like 80 okay. to 100 milligrams a day. Luckily, we managed to get her off of it. We, we all kind of worked together. and um, She ended up getting completely off of it. But... Um, she developed some digestive problems. Okay. You know, so then like a year after being off the prednisone, she went into the doctor. She had diarrhea and just digestive problems. Well, she decided, they decided to go in and have a colonoscopy done. Okay. 
and this was just like last week or so. What they and, find? Well, well when they couldn't even finish the colonoscopy because she had holes in her colon. <laughs> Uh, they took pictures of it and everything. Apparently, some of the holes were as large as like the size of a half dollar. I was told. I haven't you know, seen the pictures. I, I, it's, that's, that's exactly what happens. And I'm not. I'm not saying it was caused by the prednisone, but certainly prednisone doesn't help. Prednisone shuts down building, and the colon needs to build. The intestine is the fastest moving, fastest growing, fastest dividing cells in the system, or in the intestine, among the fastest anyway. And so, the, the prednisone by suppressing by being cytotoxic, shutting down, uh, shutting down, killing cells and shutting down their growth and repair, it makes perfect sense. I'm not saying that was the cause, but here's the deal. It's water under the bridge. There's stuff you could do. You got to start repairing that gut. The less she eats for a while, the better off she's going to be. And the less solid food she eats, the better off she's going to be. She does probably want to make sure she's getting her fiber. She has to be very vigilant. If she's got holes like that in her intestine, she's got to be very vigilant about putting anything into the system that activates immunity because she's running high risk for a lot of ugly things with that kind of with those kinds of perforations, those kinds of leaks into the blood, if you will. So she's got to be super duper careful, mega careful about what she eats. Get her on the Biolumin Nightly Essence ASAP as soon as possible, fermented foods, all the same things we just talked about the last couple of listeners. You're going to have to focus hard and hard and long, or she's going to have to focus hard and long on everything she eats and on supporting digestive health. Also, because of the holes, because, uh, because the breakdown in the intestinal lining, she's not absorbing. She's malnourished. So you get this downward spiral. Do you see what's happening? She, she's mm-hmm. malnourished, and that's going to make the condition worse, which makes the malnourishment worse, which makes the condition worse. There's a, she's heading on a downward spiral, and at Probably she's in her 50s or 60s. That's not a good time to head in a downward spiral. She's 75. Okay, well, that's even worse. So you, she absolutely has to focus on her foods, making sure she's eating as little as possible, doing solid, uh, doing um, liquid nutrition, bone soup and vegetable juices, as well as probiotics, mighty 90 essential nutrients, and all the coating and soothing things that we talked about. I don't want to repeat myself all the time, but you know, you, if you've listened to the last couple of callers, you know, what, uh, you know what the drill is, and you can always go back to the archive. God bless you, Shane, and I hope everything works out for your mom. Appreciate it. And I'm sorry if we left you on hold. Looks like we had some good calls here. I'd love it if you call back tomorrow and uh, we can take care of your questions and thoughts and your success stories and your comments as well. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Please check out my website, brightsideben.com. Order Longevity products or join the Bright Side Ben team right off the website. Also, criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. And then uh, please check out truthtreatments.com. My truth treatments make a great Christmas present. Omega-6 healing cream, particularly all retinol 5% gel, truth serum, and truth balm. And then we also blog skincare topics on truthtreatments.com. Have yourselves a spectacular, beautiful day, my friends. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.